Hi, in today's video, I'm going to take a look at disabling the pre-installed GNOME extensions on Ubuntu, like the dock, the desktop icons and the tiling assistant. I'm going to show you how to do this without using the extension manager, which I believe you have to install using a flat pack and takes up a lot of space. So I'm going to show you how to do this on the command line with G settings or using dconf. So what I'm going to do is switch across to a recording of Ubuntu on my MacBook 2015 and show you the steps to get this uh, set up. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so first thing we want to do is actually install the dconf editor and we can do that with sudo apt install dconf dash editor. You can do this on the command line as well, but dconf editor is a useful tool to have installed. So what we've got here is dconf, and what we're going to do is go into GNOME, shell, we've gone org gnome shell, and scroll down here to disabled extensions. And what we've done is put in a list of the pre-installed extensions um, into the disabled extensions setting there and then you just apply it so it's all gnome shell disabled extensions and you can get these uh, extension names from uh, dconf and this is how you do it on the command line with g settings g settings set org dot gnome shell disabled extensions and the extensions that we want to disable the tiling assistant the desktop icons and the dock so you what you can do either of those two options and as you'll see, the dock still appears in the overview, but it doesn't actually appear um, on the desktop, as you can see there. So if I touch a file on the desktop, you'll see there's no desktop icons, and I can remove that there. So that's the steps we need to go through to get this working. Um, let me just switch back across to here. So this was... The G settings command, um, G settings set org dot gnome dot shell, dis um, disabled extensions, and uh, we've got the tiling system, which is the new quarter tiling thing. Uh, ding at um, rastersoft dot com is actually the desktop icons, and Ubuntu dock at Ubuntu dock. Uh, ubuntu.com is the dock and the reason i um, disable these is because um i don't like the dock um, i never use it and it just gets in the way of other keyboard shortcuts uh, you have to go through and disable a lot of the pre-built uh, keyboard shortcuts for the dock uh, for things like uh, easily changing workspaces that sort of thing uh, i never use desktop icons um and I always keep my windows full screen pretty much. So I've got no need of the tiling system. So basically I just disable them all uh, to have more of a vanilla um, gnome. So all you've got to do, as I said, is I will use dconf, um, which is really useful to actually go through and have a look at all the settings and change them graphically. Or you can um, disable them on the command line with G settings. Um, Usually what happens is they take effect immediately, uh, but you may have to log in and log out. Um, uh, some, some of them didn't seem to um, take effect immediately. I can't remember which one. Um, but the reason why I want to do this um, using these tools is because, as I said, the extension manager um, is a sort of tool that will allow you to toggle extensions on and off. And there doesn't seem to be a way in GNOME to actually disable the um, the dock easily without installing the extensions manager. And as I said, I think um, it depends on the distro you're using. I think it's actually available on Fedora, but um, uh, let's have a look. GNOME extensions manager. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, this this one here. Uh, yeah, this is the one, Extensions Manager. And so the issue with this is, um, as I said, in some repositories like Fedora, I think it's available, 
but on Ubuntu it isn't, so you actually have to install it through a flat pack. And it's a tiny little application, but the problem is if you haven't got any um, other flat pack programs installed, it's going to probably pull down like several hundred meg or a gig or something ridiculous just to install this application so that you can toggle on and off the uh, pre-installed extensions. So that seems a bit overkill to me um, to do it that way. So that's why we're doing it with dcomp 4 g settings um, so that we can get rid of some of the Ubuntu um, pre-installed extensions that come sort of bundled with GNOME. As I said, on Fedora, you get a vanilla GNOME uh, where they don't add anything. But on Ubuntu, they add their own stuff. And if you don't like it, um, it can be a bit tricky to disable. Um, there isn't a way. Um, you can disable the tiling assistant, I believe, in the settings. But um, I don't think there's an easy way to disable the desktop icons or the dock without using um, dconf or g settings. So I hope that helps you um, get rid of the dock and um, the tiling um, and the tiling extensions and the desktop icons if you don't like them. Um, note the there is a enabled extensions as well um, in dconf. So in org gnome shell there is a enabled extensions and that's basically where I got the list of enabled extensions here and just put them in the disabled extensions. But one thing to note is the enabled extensions, if you if you just clear the enabled extensions, um, it will come back. So what I actually did was I, um, for the enabled extensions, I just removed everything. So it was just single quotes in the brackets here. And when I rebooted, um, the tiling assistant and the ding rastersoft.com showed up in the, in the enabled extensions, but the dock didn't. Um, but they're all still disabled. Um, so you may need to actually remove the dock from the enabled extensions as well. Um, but you know, reboot and everything should be gone, and you won't have a dock, um, you won't have desktop icons, which I never use, and um. You can also disable the quarter tiling if you want as well. Um, but that's just a personal preference. I don't use them, so why have them enabled? Um, getting in the way and um, messing with your keyboard shortcuts because I said I, I like to have keyboard shortcuts to easily uh, change workspaces, you know, super one, two, three, four, and those conflict with the um, GNOME dock keyboard shortcut settings. So you can go through and disable all the, the keyboard shortcuts for the dock, but it's easier just to, to remove the thing because if you're using an Apple application launcher, um, you don't really need the dock and it just gets in the way. So I'll put links to all this under the video and hope that helps you clean up your Ubuntu install of GNOME and get rid of some of the pre-installed extensions if you don't use them.